Hey there, so in today's episode we are going to be looking at this thing. This is like a sky which is performant of course as, al as always and it's just a cube map but there's a catch here. Instead of just we creating it there's a feature inside Unreal Engine called HRI backdrop. So if you go to the plugins type in HRI make sure this one's set on restarted the engine again and then when you have it come here HDRI make sure you drag this one into the scene I've already dragged it um, so make sure the size is something uh, that works for you for me though it's just 2000 and intensity I've made sure that I've set it to 5 and then projection center is 3000 in the Z axis and the lighting distance factor is a default value. This is my settings. Um, for the texture though, this is a cube map texture which is HDR, an HDR texture. You can download it from a lot of websites. You can either go to Google and just type in HDRI or you can go to the website polyhaven.com and download one for yourself. I've already downloaded this one and been using it for the whole tutorial but there's something here you should know it won't work with the EXR it must be set to HDR and then hit download and then you're good to go once downloaded just drag the downloaded file to your content browser and then just go ahead and drag it here or type uh, click on this icon here what I did I mean I only changed one thing here and that was the brightness because it by default this is so bright I couldn't really see any details in it so I just went ahead and lowered the brightness drastically uh, and that made the texture be visible enough and um, the color spectrum is good for me okay so there's something else I wanted to tell you in RNG5 we have um, real-time indirect global illumination which works perfectly so if you just come and see here this is like a uh, indirect global Ill illumination that's being calculated by the light that's going uh, coming to here to this point and there are some darker points especially around here and there are some brighter points around here so you don't really need to add any, any light function to your directional light to simulate this feature all you can do though is go to your light and set it to something really really low to make it look like there's something happening in the scene but not too much um, this is the whole thing and I hope it works it helps you uh, and if it did help please hit that like button have a great day bye